And so today, um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, uh, I'll be taking pictures with you and, and of your art. And the, the funnest thing about these uh, the prints and stuff is there might be, I don't know how many is in this edition. Say there's 50 or there's 200 in the edition. Um, the cool thing about it, the only way I get to sign your art is if we happen to be in the same part of the planet, same day, and everything. So there might be 200 in the edition, but maybe I've only signed five of them uh, in all of time. So really, really fun. Um, also, um, I'm going to be doing some uh, custom sketches. Um, I'm not sure how many I'll be able to do today, but if you would like to kind of collaborate with me and we do a painting together, you can tell me sort of uh, what your idea is. And uh, I have some, some special paper here that I'll be using and doing some black and white paintings for you. If that's something you're interested in, um, I see one of the uh, gallery associates or one of the, one of the staff. Um, let's see, is that it? I think that's it. I don't know. And if you have any questions, uh, you know, just ask me. I, I know the artist personally. He's my second favorite <laughs> artist. His name is Godard something. By the way, there's a little bit of trivia. I'll tell you something kind of funny, too. We're looking at this camping piece over here. And the one above, they has some fun stories. So I was tattooed on a show called Inked. And um, the guy who tattooed me, his name is Thomas Pendleton. After he was finished with the show, he went on to do another show where he was tattooing inside of a bus called Tattoo Highway. And uh, this is actually his exact tattoos and my exact tattoos. Uh, down below that, uh, a little bit of Goddard trivia. Uh, this is the only painting I've ever done where an olive is actually farting. <laughs> You'll notice there's a little can of spilled beans over here, refried beans. This is just for you guys only. Uh, that's it. And uh, so anyway, that's that's kind of fun. Uh, the monsters piece. This is really fun too. So after doing the piece, uh, two of the cast members, uh, uh, Butch Patrick and uh, the girl that played uh, uh, Marilyn, uh, actually ordered a piece and they took a picture of themselves and signed it, signed it for me. So a lot of fun. And uh, anyways, I'm just super glad you guys are here. I totally appreciate being able to uh, uh, do this for a living. And I hope today goes really well. Uh, my mom says if it slows down, I can go back to roofing. I really don't want to go back to roofing. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, so uh, let's have a good time. And uh, I am very accessible. I'll be over here in my timeout corner, wherever they put me. And uh, be sure and uh, come by and say hello. We'll take pictures together. And like I said, uh, if you're part of the staff, could you raise your hand so we can recognize? Okay, so these are the people you need to approach if you want to know something. And uh, yeah, and all that. Uh, by the way, Alex, by the way. Alex? only thing that upset me, somebody cut the arms and the legs off of all the grapes in here. Those are my models. That's really mean. Yeah, a couple of the strawberries too. All right. Anyways, uh, thank you guys. I, I've been really looking forward to coming back and uh, uh, happy to see all of you. So let's have some fun. I'm 
reset the room and, uh, and tell you that I'm really, really excited. It's been a couple years since I've been back and uh, super excited to see my, my friends, old and new. Um, I, I'm going to do a couple uh, sketches, which is something kind of uh, cool that we're doing. So it's kind of where you and I sort of collaborate uh, on a piece. And so doing some mini ones of those. And uh, thank you, man. What a great turnout today. I thought today was supposed to be the quiet day, man. I don't know what happened. But it's good. Uh, What's that? I know I showed up. That's right. So somebody asked me, they go, you ever get tired of doing this? I was out with my friend Ozzy Osbourne, right? We're having dinner. Uh, I'm super exciting. So he fell asleep twice while we we're sitting at the table. <laughs> but he, we kept having people come up that recognized him and he didn't have any security with me. So I was kind of like his security. And uh, I kept kind of uh, fielding people that were coming to our table while we were eating. And uh, I asked him, I go, Ozzy, I said, does it ever bother you when, you know, strangers are coming up and talking to you? And he said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> which meant, <laughs> he's not here, is he? <laughs> okay. But he told me, he says this, he says, listen, God, and he goes, it's a strange thing. He goes, I don't like to be interrupted when I'm eating. And he said, and uh, he says, normally in the morning when I get up, uh, I don't want you know, I don't want to run into anybody. I'm so tired of being, you know, in, in the public. I just want to have some peace and, and go through my day without one person asking for a picture or for my autograph. And he says, but if I go out in public and not one person's asked me for my autograph or wants a picture with me, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> so anyway, so somebody said to me, oh, so you ever get tired? Of I don't. Let me tell you something. The day when I come to Edmonton and there's nobody here, just all my rent of friends, that's when I'll be upset. So, but for now, I'm having a great time, and I truly appreciate, you know, uh, get, getting to do this. You know, there's a, a lot of artists that have come by and, and stopped by today, including my friend Josh over here, my my hands, uh, my my friend as well. Um, but uh, the thing about it is, there's two things that that I think every artist wants to do. One is that you know you want to create something that makes you feel good, and when you do, you want to take that that art and you want to share it with somebody. So I think that's what's really fun. Obviously, if you enjoy my artwork, uh, you have a great sense of humor, and you're an alcoholic. Uh, aside from that, <laughs> I was doing so good, man. I'm ruining it. Uh, but no, it's really appreciated that you're here. Obviously, too, you know, um, the last two years have been really tough, man. It feels doesn't it feel good not to be wearing a mask right now? Yeah. It's amazing, and uh, yeah, no, that feels great. And uh, so uh, the the past two years have been, you know, rough for all of us, and uh, some of us lost some friends, you know, through all this as well. Um, but uh, but I mean, I'm really happy to see you guys again, and I know it's been a little while. Um, this is the quiet show. I have no idea what I'm in store for tomorrow. But really, I mean, it's really nice to see some uh, new faces and some old faces and some 
really not so pretty faces. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. God, I was doing so good again, man. I just totally lost it. Anyway, lots of exciting, uh, lots of exciting things going on, and I'm glad you guys like the new work. And uh, by all means, uh, when we're taking a picture, um, you know, you're going to need those pictures, my friends, because. Antique Roadshow, you, you don't have anything with a piece of art. You need to have pictures with the living artist, okay? <laughs> so this bullshit you've been hearing about, you know, the art's worth more and the artist passes, that's complete BS. <laughs> right? Are you with me or not? <laughs> hey, Goddard, I just saw you in, in Ed, West Edmonton. I think that uh, I bought like seven originals of yours. Man, it's been nice knowing you, buddy. <laughs> now I'm rich. No, just kidding. It's not worth more. Let's be gone. Anyway, I don't know how I got off on the wrong side of that. But uh, but anyways, I, I just want to say I really, really, truly appreciate you guys coming. And obviously I get to enjoy, you know, uh, doing this and uh, and enjoy talking with you and, and hopefully give a little bit, uh, give a little bit extra. But uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you. I'm really happy to be here. And that's it. I love you guys. You betcha. Right that's what it's all about. That's what it's about. <laughs> Good morning. I got, I, got, I got through customs. That was the first step. <laughs> right? Okay. I, 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 How'd you know? Man, you ever seen SpongeBob playing uh, hockey with an olive? Did that just happen? <laughs> wow. All right. All right, so... You like it? Don't show your wife. Are you married? Married. Because I think if you were married, your wife might try. Yes, to follow my YouTube. YouTube. I will follow your YouTube. The medals are awesome, aren't they? I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, no, thank you very much. Oh, you're the man. Yeah, yeah, you did. I just saw this the other day. And I go, I'm not sure why it's getting that kind of detail, but it's got to be like the tiniest little, you know, the tiniest little grind or whatever. This is so, so sick. It, that's awesome. Because you know the, what, what, what separates your work from other guys doing metal? Because you know there's a thousand of yeah, them. You take a picture of your shit with a grinder, which you can't just, really, just really control yeah. and make real no, no, art. No, no, no. I mean, you could okay. do some things, make it real budget, but this is like artistic okay, see, look that I've never seen any other metal person have. You know what I mean? It's like, it's badass. Really badass. And this is just amazing. So, yeah. Sharon said you like it. I did. I did like it. Coming in here, I'm staring at it. Like, this. This, though. This is a thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Last time we talked, you talked about sitting Yeah. I love it, man. Yeah, me too. I'm glad you do. Yeah. 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 Stand by him, Shane. I'll get a picture of you, man. I got it. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, let's do it. No, let's do it. I'll probably see you tomorrow anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. I've spoken to you on Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like we're on the red carpet all the day. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so hopefully tomorrow at least we get a few people show up, Mom. You're their first show. You could yeah. do something about that. So just like someone losing their virginity or what? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just to remind us, not even go there. Too tired. All right, uh, let's see here. Don't you need to hold it? No.
that's what she said. What's new on the easel? What you got on the easel? For me? Yeah, what's on there right Dude, now? I am working on the most frustrating picture I've ever started. What is it? I decided to start working on something I've never, I never paint animals, and I'm like, I'll do a whale. And I was like, I even on my Instagram stories, I was like, all right, guys, I'm going to probably do this all in one day. So just follow along. So I had the absolute urge to start painting today. I thought of an idea and I was like, I need to execute that right now. But I didn't have a big enough canvas for the space I'm painting for. So I decided to hop in the truck and make my way over to Michael's. I don't often shop at Michael's, but it's the closest art store to where I live. So Michael's it is. Uh, looked around, found a nice big canvas, and uh, so I bought it, came out, and as I was walking back to my truck here, I was like, dang, I don't, I don't actually know if it's going to fit. Um, but it does. Door to door, but it fits. If it wouldn't have fit, I would have just put it in the, in the bed, but no, no need. What do you think I'm painting on here? Stay tuned, because I'll be... Uh, Hopefully starting and finishing it today. I'll be putting it in regular posts and maybe stories. I don't know. Anyways, keep kicking ass with both feet. And it's been like three weeks. <laughs> how, uh, how big? Are you uh, whale big as well? Yeah, it's like four by five feet. Oh, that's oh okay. Awesome. Good size. No. I don't know if I'll ever release it though. Yeah. Sharon, do you want to get in for him? Yep, I do actually. Bill, do you want to get in there? Of course he does. Get in there. <laughs> Mom and Dad. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm just, I'm the adopted. This is your grandpa. Yeah, Uncle Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Daddy. <laughs> All right. There we go. That's it? I appreciate the help today, too, by the way. Honestly, with just, you know, pictures oh. and entertaining people and... Well, you should see what you can do with a five-gallon pail of drywall. Cement. What me? Yeah, you. Oh yeah. That. Yeah, I remember that. Remember? That was a good night. That was a long night. It was a long night, yeah. Were you there when the sun came up, or did you? No, I left at left like early. three or so. Tomorrow, you guys will see the wall that Josh built me. Awesome. What are you, what are you looking for? Uh, marker. I, do you have it? I think I do. I think I have silver. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, two silvers. Okay. Silver's good. So obviously, yeah. I had to get one of your, well, it's a poster, but it's it's finger good, painting, man. you know? Yeah, I appreciate it. I actually got this three years ago. It aged well. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually didn't even realize the quote that you put down there. Oh, that's fine, right? Until yeah. today. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll get him to sign yeah. this. I forgot my other picture, but I'll... Oh. It's funny that it's this particular one, because right in my, my finger painting, and that's what you do, so... Mm -hmm. Of course it's got an all of that. Of course. I have killed her markers. Yeah. All of them. Oh, Perfect. Thank you so much, man. Let's get a picture together. Sure. Can we take it for you? Yeah. Sure. Sorry, guys. You can just leave it on okay. how it is, yep. and then I'll steal one. Um, let me do this real quick, and then I gotta find a silver that'll work. Let's kick start it. Yep. Shall we keep filming? Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks all a lot, good. Okay. man. My pleasure. Thank you for hanging out all day and staying awake. <laughs> You're like you. a role model for, you know. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, I'm gonna stick this back in here. Oh, and I got one more today as well. No, I used the gold. Gold is nice. Gold. You already got gold. Oh, okay. So, so it matches. Sure. Awesome, man. Thanks so much, dude. Oh, my pleasure, man. My pleasure. Always a pleasure. All right. All right.
Are we ready? Yep. You want to take that marker with us? Sure. Thank I'll, you. I'll take the heavy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, dude. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah, thanks. You too. So I'm just leaving the show, and uh, the doors are locked. I'm, st I'm stuck in the vestibule. <gasps> oh, okay, these doors are open. Okay, the, for some reason the side doors are locked, but uh, I'm gonna have to go out through the gallery exit. The doors are locked. Really? For, yeah, from the inside. Really? Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna walk out the back. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. Went and then you could have a ride. Yeah, I should have. Oh well. Didn't know it was locked. All right, have a good night. Thank you. Again. You're welcome. Thank you. That was fun, eh, Josh? It was. Have a good night. You're still here? Yeah, I'm working. Oh shit. Over my the door is locked in the front of the thing. That's your car? Yeah. Do you mind driving me to the front? Yeah. Okay, cool. Wait, so you said I'll wait right there, just knock and I'll open the door. Oh, he was right there. Shit, I should've... I didn't know there was no handle on the side. Man! A few moments later. Maybe it's hard to hear. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hold the door. Here, you're gonna be up here, so let's bring them all out. That would be smart. Well, yeah, there was nobody here before, so okay. We have two minutes. It's only freezing out here, so I don't mind. <laughs> Ah, oh, there you are. What was your, uh... Dude, grab your picture. <laughs> What's your sister-in-law's name again? Carol Fox. Carol, she's, you, this is your brother-in-law again. Eating Easter eggs. <laughs> okay, that's it, right? Yep. Okay. Closing. Too late to go back now. Blaine ain't gonna hear that. I'll grab this one. Not going on top. That's the last one. Good thing you came with me. Yeah, guys. I had. Uh, What's your name again? Brent. I had Brent's phone. Good thing I have uh, <laughs> another phone here. Uh, but I had Brent's phone in my pocket, and I just tried to leave with it because I didn't realize I had it because I took a picture of him, this picture right here, and uh, <laughs> I put it in my pocket after because yeah. I, I don't know why. Would have been halfway out. home without it. Yeah. Can't trust these starving artists. Good, good thing I got locked into the mall vestibule there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. It would have been. Well, you would have come out and you would have. I, well, I would have given it to you tomorrow. Yeah, but you wouldn't have known who's, a, well, you know it was somebody here. I mean, you would have called it, right? Maybe? Yeah, I would have called when I got home. I would have been like, oh, it's Brent the Mustaches. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so you're still recording this, I see. <laughs> yeah, why not? It's good stuff. And this is going on YouTube. Yeah, so yeah. that, what was your name again? Carol? Carol. So Carol can see it. <laughs> She'll get a kick out of it. See, I told you I knew who Josh was. <laughs> but no one knows who Carol is. Nobody knows who Carol is except Carol. Right, but she bought these off of me. See how uh, those lizards pop up right there? Where'd you park? Oh yeah, over there. Okay. Sorry, I'm not used to this mall. I hardly ever come here. I don't come here either, so I'm not... You know, where are you in the Cadillac or what? You think I look like I drive a Cadillac? <laughs> see that white truck right there? There's Blaine's Cadillac over there, see? Them salesmen, they make lots of money. Oh yeah. Dude, he's not gonna be able to get out either. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the door I was trying to get out of. And you can't get out? No, it's locked. You can get out, but you can't get in. Yeah, I don't know what that deal is. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. It's one of those. It must be one of those. Yeah. All right, perfect. Okay, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, thanks for the ride. Yeah, well, thanks for my phone. <laughs> 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 okay, see you tomorrow. All right, day two. There's the mustache right there. Hello, Brent. I don't know if you're going to watch this video, but there you are. Uh, day two of the Michael Goddard Art Gallery here is in the bigger mall, but the smaller gallery location. And so Sharon has rented out the stage here to accommodate the need for space, which I think is very creative. So... Michael is, he's right here. He's signing uh, paintings and whatnot. I believe you could probably also buy these ones here. But uh, there's more to see in the gallery right upstairs here. He's got a few pieces up here. Pardon me, sorry. Looking good. So, this is over here. Box, strawberries. Some more pieces out here. How's it going? Good. I even brought my phone. You, did, you, you didn't bring it? I did bring it. Oh, you did bring it. Didn't forget it. I forgot my piece that I wanted him to sign, but... How many Goddards do you have? Uh, I think 22. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a pretty impressive collection. He didn't drop his phone, and he's got an impressive Goddard collection which is pretty cool all right i think uh i think we'll make our way upstairs there do you think i can jump there from the stage maybe not from the floor but maybe from the stage ready <laughs> Whew. okay so here's the view from up here you can see the stage is nice and big has a lot of uh area to move around whereas if we walk into the gallery here there is, you know, it's way smaller than uh, the gallery that you saw from yesterday. There's still a decent amount of space to showcase art, but you can't really have the amount of people in the space that you could have in the other gallery, which is a shame, but they made it work. I think it's actually kind of cool that it, they did it this way. Am I going to go downstairs? Yeah. I can if you want me to. Um, when you do, if you do, can you take this down for Jaren? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yep. Okay, he's going to get it signed in. He has a sketch as well, so if you just take that to Sharon and just tell him it's for Jaren with your sketch. Okay. She'll know exactly what you're talking about. Perfect. You going down now? Um, no, because they told me I have to wait a bit because they forgot the sketch papers. But yeah, just leave it. Let, let Sharon know it's for Jaren. And okay. And he's getting the sketch done. Sharon will know okay. exactly. And she'll stash it. Perfect. Okay. I'll do that. Should I jump back down or will that wreck this painting <laughs> i think i'll take the escalator jaren is in a wheelchair which is why he can't bring it down himself here because he has to go to the elevator which is on the other side of the long ass hallway over there uh sean just asked me to put this aside for jaren all right perfect there it is and there's Jaren right there. He's going to get one of those sketches done, similar to the one that my new friend Sheldon got yesterday. He often does those at his shows. I'm not sure if he does them at all of his shows, but he's done them for the shows the, when he comes to Edmonton, which I think is pretty cool. And I was able to get one a while ago, which I'm, I feel really lucky about. And I have that hanging in my studio. Train. The other mall doesn't have one of those, so that's kind of cool. Is, is that Jeff Bezos? It's not Jeff Bezos, but it, it kind of looks like Jeff Bezos. That's the framer. He might be a framer as well. I know there's one other guy, but anyway, he's going to be framing the two pieces I got signed yesterday. Is that Indiana Jones? It's not Indiana Jones. It doesn't even really look like Indiana Jones. He just has a hat and a 
and a leather coat on. And actually, it's not even the right coat. It's a trench coat. Indiana Jones crossed with Neo. Neo Jones. <laughs> oh, so dumb. Hey man. So I missed them singing happy birthday, but I guess it's his birthday today, so that's cool. This is the cake they had made for him. It's strawberry and an olive, some cards, some dice. This is a pretty dope cake. I don't know who made it, but she was here. So that's pretty freaking dope. Look who it is, guys. It's Ernie. I'm gonna go say hi to Ernie. I don't know how this vlog is gonna turn out because it's kind of hectic. I thought yesterday was hectic. I didn't even hardly get most of what I might, uh, you know, usually get into a vlog. Like, uh, I was kind of running around trying to help out as best I could, like packing up paintings and, uh, uh, taking a lot of pictures and stuff and I was like I don't want my phone to die because I'm also filming stuff for Sharon so that she can use some footage for her own uh, video stuff and I was like ah, I don't know what to film and today I think might be a little more hectic I don't need to capture any footage for for Sharon this go around but uh, like the upstairs downstairs thing I don't know I don't know exactly what I'm going to do but uh, there he is Hey, good. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? <laughs> I saw you up there and I was like, hey, that's Ernie. That's us? <laughs> yeah. I bet you Ernie is telling Leanne about the cigar room. He has a couple Goddards in there, and he's probably showing her, you know, how how he has that set up. Did you did you show them the cigar room? Oh yeah, he freaked out. Yeah. Said, what the hell? And I said, see, and when I came to that big picture, the one above the the bar or the fireplace, you see this whole cigar room designed over your picture. It had to fit yeah. there, and the rest yeah. of it. Then we did the rest he said oh my god so he asked me to send him the pictures of that nice so I sent him the pictures of the cigar room with his his pictures I think there was only three that I had that had, had his pictures yeah. in it right yeah. the, the most important one was the, the yeah. big feature picture the, yeah. Yeah, yeah awesome yeah cool well you got your book signed yeah Jesus I... your friendship is intoxicating <laughs> <laughs> look at me, me. Yeah. And then we got this other one, uh, this picture. Oh, cool people hang together. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's from the other gallery yeah, that used to be yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. You betcha. I knew it. I knew he would. He loves that room. And he should. Let's see how this drawing is going. Five for one person, that's it. Or two or three. Okay. So I said... He's getting one similar to my new friend Sheldon. I didn't know he was also getting a boat done. That's that's a freak coincidence. <laughs> they misplaced each other. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes.
That's a pretty cool sketch, and he's now working on another one. Sean's up there trying to sell. And then there's Bill's ass. <laughs> and someone else's ass. <laughs> nice ass. <laughs> if you could hear someone laughing to my commentary, that was her. I forget what her name is, but they actually bought one of my paintings out of the other gallery that used to be in the mall here. So that's pretty cool. But they're getting a clock uh, signed, I guess, which uh, I, I wouldn't consider myself much of a salesperson when it comes to selling art that's not mine, but I plugged in that clock for them and they decided to buy it. So, I mean, I'll leave it up to you uh, to decide if that's what sold it or not, but I did plug it in to show them the neon at yesterday's show. And then they brought it to this show to get it signed because they had a couple pieces that they had them sign yesterday. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why did you buy this? Is it because I plugged it in? That could be one of the reasons. That's Was that the defining uh, factor? Plug it in? Neon worked good? Because it was quite a struggle to plug it in because the stupid cord was. wasn't long enough. <laughs> would you say that's why you bought it? I would say that's why I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Hey, you got it signed up for you. That looks good. Yeah. That's cool. The cool thing about his art, uh, when he when he signs it, he will tell you the story about the picture that's in the piece of art. And uh, he said that one of the olives is a different color, and it's supposed to be him because at a what did he say at a cigar smoking party? I don't know at a party anyway. He. Uh, they were passing around cigars and he smoked every single one that was passed to him rather than you know just one at a time and it made him sick so one of the olives is right, in the, middle, right in the middle yeah so that one is is a slightly different oh this one here yeah. oh and he's puking yeah <laughs> okay yeah he's a different color green yeah oh that's funny so that's supposed to be him yeah. <laughs> interesting i knew it was because of me it probably wasn't because of me like obviously I'm just joking but when I plugged it in after the hassle of trying to make it reach and all that stuff uh, the light turned on and he was like okay I'll take it so you know Good. Congratulations. so show is moving up upstairs from uh, the Yay! stage and uh, I guess uh, we'll see how it goes from here <laughs> it is definitely way busier in here so I'm just gonna chill at the desk and try to stay out of the way Oh, they're eating cake. What kind of top one? This is salted caramel spiced pear. Did you make this? I did. It was... This one is vanilla and strawberry because my dad is boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He said, that, he said, yeah, my daughter made that. We said, what kind is this? I don't know. All right. Which one do you want? I'll take uh, whatever you said that was. Perfect. Thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. Do you want one? Yeah, I'll try it. They're super yummy. It is very yummy. Do you want Thank one? Thank you. Which one would you like? Uh, the salted caramel pear. You're great. You hide behind the desk so you can eat your cake. Exactly. You have to answer the phone while you're there. I don't... 
I don't know what I would say. I guess I could say hello. You can. Hello. Cake was good? Guess what? Shane is here. He was here yesterday too, but he just managed to sell this to them, which is pretty cool. They're in a art buying mood this weekend. Hard to get a with the glare, but yeah, but that's fine. So this is on aluminum? And what, how, how did you do this? You were saying that you were hand sanded it, so... I drew it out, and yeah. then I used a tungsten carbide needle and sand all the details into it. So, like, you just started with a solid color then? No, no color. Or, it was all raw aluminum. I put the color on last. Oh, so you drew the picture by scratching it in, yeah. and then you added the color after. Yeah. Sick. Happy 50th. Jerry, enjoy. Sweet. Meanwhile, over on the other side of the gallery. Excuse me. Sorry. We got a strawberry sculpture coming out. Yeah. I got a lot of really fun ones coming up. We got that hummingbird piece that is all done. It'll be out pretty soon. Dang, it is busy in here. And it looks like outside here they started to wrap up the stage. What is that? It's a glass ceiling. You see that they had to do a lot of repairs in there because it it leaked. This is an old mall now. I am now sitting down here on the stage guarding the last remaining pieces of art here uh, while they get packed up um, by uh, other people. Um, just don't want anything to get potentially stolen. Yesterday, there wasn't two locations, so we didn't have to do this. Instead, uh, it was me, the, the mustache, he's one of the people packing up today. And Shane, who you saw earlier with that, uh, what was that, like the monkey there? Orangutan? Uh, who, by the way, you would have met him in a previous vlog, the uh, Darwalk vlog. And he's also, he has a body shop. He's also gonna be uh, doing the body work on my truck to get rid of the little bits of rust that there are around the windshield that I actually mentioned uh, a little while ago in a previous recent vlog. But anyway, uh, yesterday I was also helping pack up, but today I kind of get a bit of a break. Um, yeah, I was doing this. See how they're carrying those away? So they bought those pieces. So I would have packed some of them up, gave them back to the customers, and then they would have gone out. But today I'm more of a more of a, a guard? Do I look like a security guard? This is my badge, the 138. If you steal, you're a 138-er. Um, but anyway, the show is, is about winding down because it's getting close to closing time. Oh, look, here we are. There goes another one. And just so you guys know, I will be having a show here in the near future as well, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm not sure it's gonna have the same turnout where everything's crowded and we need two locations, but uh, we're gonna have a show nonetheless, which will be nice. So here comes the mustache once again. <laughs> Remain candid. Remain I don't know candid. Where all the hired help went. Yeah, I know. We don't even work here. <laughs> you work two days in a row. You came, you came to get some art signed and then they put you to work. I don't know where Ramel and them are. 
They were just here. As you went up, oh, were they? They okay. came down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday you would have seen him pack up some stuff as well, but I, it was too hectic for me to film that. And do you even care? Here he is now. my phone. I did steal your phone. That was I was lucky that I. It was just weird that you couldn't get out of the building. Yeah. If, yeah, if I couldn't get out, yeah, I would have taken it home, but I would have given it to you tonight. And I wouldn't have even known about it if this phone didn't die, because I wouldn't have looked for my. Yeah, because you said, yeah, I've got another phone. And I thought, yeah, this phone. I, I wouldn't have looked for this phone, but then I pulled out yours. I'm like, whose phone is this? <laughs> I'm definitely not rich. This this phone is broken. Yeah. Oh, there we go. We're we're just about done. You see that? He's wearing a football jersey, so he thinks he can just bowl over kids. <laughs> I just find it so funny because I don't even, I don't even know this guy, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and I'm just bugging him like this. <laughs> See, I'm a likable guy. See you later. Yeah, see ya. They're, they're actually going to uh, commission me to do two more paintings to match the one they already bought from me uh, a few years ago that I showed you earlier. So that's cool. Like I said, in a buying mood. Everyone I know is gone now. Oh, except for the mustache. <laughs> We're comparing mustaches? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where, where, where'd that come from? <laughs> ah, dude, I, I didn't actually say that. I said everyone I know is already gone. Oh, I said, oh, except for the mustache. Which I guess I don't really know you, but I know you kind of. Well, you know I know you when I see you. I'm like, oh, yes, there's Brent. Yeah, exactly, right? That's what I was <laughs> he saying. To compare. He, he just took a picture of us, so he's going to put it up there and say, who's better? <laughs> Dude, the mustache is immaculate. That's yeah. for November you do that. You could, uh, you could definitely give for, for, uh, Mo, for, for Movember. Yeah, exactly. You could give uh, Tom Selleck a run for his money. Wait, son. That's a good one. Oh, that's an awesome one. I, I you know, I. This was his actual studio. Uh, I said he did some yeah. research on that. So that's his actual studio. If you see photographs of the studio, it's that. that was it. And then uh, this is actually his, his uh, daughter. Or no, his daughter. Her daughter and yeah. the dentist. Yep. And there you go. Yeah. And the truth is, he was drinking a lot. But it, but it was good. I mean, he did his best work. Well, actually, you know, he did I had fun. I had fun. Dude, they're gonna be like, what the heck is this? Let's just say that the curves were much easier to Really? Why would he record someone else's phone? This part was right there. Okay. Alright, where am I going? Alright. Alright, guys. Are they gonna have it at home? And cheese! Awesome. We're good. And now, wait, oh, I missed it. Do that one more time. There we go. It is winding down now. We got the mustache. We have Shane. I forget what his name is. We got Sean. And, oh, she was here last show. Yep, you should definitely get it. Right? You should get it. It's beautiful. Yep, get it. Do you want to be in my vlog? Yes. Sure. You subscribed yesterday, right? That's me. I know that's me. I just released that today. Cool. 
So I met, uh, don't tell me again, Jessica. That's right. Jessica yesterday at the other show. She sells leggings. So oh, thank you. I'll put her stuff in the description and you can see her leggings. The legs and leggings, you're not wrong. There we go. And she's going to buy this piece. I am. What do you think? They like Thumbs it. Thumbs up. Yeah. Like it. Subscribe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're going to go get him to sign it. I am going to get him to sign it. I've taken this one. I created a monster, but nobody wants to hear Marshall anymore. They want Shady. Yeah, but Shady's now. <laughs> so here's me. Here's me. Matrix is something that's special. I, yeah, it's super, super cool. And uh, yeah, and people ask me, I don't know if people know about this piece, because I did it really, really early in my career, and literally no one knows about it. So I, I'm like, oh, you should do the Matrix. I've done it. I didn't know you did Matrix. See? You didn't even know. Oh, huh. Well, you learn something mm -hmm. new every day. Um, would you like your name on it? Yeah, I would do it, because then it makes it more special, more personalized. Or, He's going to put his name on it. It actually already is on there. May as well have yours. I'm only on <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you suggest. I mean... Let me, uh... Let's see. I mean, you do... Can you put my name on it? Well, it's time to do jokes! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can put whoever oh, name. Yeah. <laughs> right? Or all of, all of Pill? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was gonna say I, I came up with that. I did it. I mean, I said it over there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Maybe I heard you, and then I thought of it because I actually. Or heard are you. we in the matrix and we are, already? Right. Make it sexy. Well, I'm glad you had your first piece. It's awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah. Oh, I'm not working. <laughs> That's the way you do it. Oh, I'm just holding it for his friend. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Come on, man. I can't hold it anymore. Hey, it's been a lot of fun, man. Fun weekend. Here, let me hold that so you can shake the man's hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. One of those should work. We'll do it again when you're here next time. Give you okay, so uh, the house that we're in right now. Um, before we moved in, uh, as supposedly it was a because uh, the house is very big, had a lot of rooms in it. So when we got the house, the owner said, "Listen, there's all kinds of bands and stuff that have stayed in this house." Oh, daddy, like who? Because well, Lady Gaga actually recorded in your uh, studio there, and right now it's a garage, but it's all soundproof. So. Went through this long list, and then there was um, uh, the Eagles stay there because what happens is their their entire entourage uh, could stay there, right? Okay, so there's there's that. That's how big it is. That's how big it is. So there's like 12, 13 bathrooms. It's ridiculous. Okay, so meanwhile, and and I didn't know that until before we, uh, so just, just before, right after we moved in. The other thing that was told to me was that before we moved in, it was Conor McGregor's house. So if you look, if you watch his uh, documentary, um, Notorious, you can see our house, right? It's in the backyard, and I got pictures of all that. And then before that, uh, there was a, um, uh, they filmed, I think it was three three years, or however many seasons that is, of a, of a show called Ultimate Fighter, right? So all this is going on, right? I'm like, wow, man, this house has a lot of history. When my buddy calls up, another artist, he's in Florida. This is a really long story, sorry, but this is how this all came up. So he goes, hey, listen, he goes, I just got my first real studio in Florida, and I'm in the same house as, as the show about this dolphin. The show was called Flipper. You know, I remember Flipper, right? And he goes, well, I'm thinking that this new studio, because it's got this energy in it, is going to, you know, do something to my art and change it and make it something really special. So I told him, I go, listen, there's been like 40 athletes that's lived here, including Conor McGregor and all these famous musicians, and I go, and I got all this amazing gym equipment that I'll never even pick up. 
That's so insane. I have all this energy and it's done nothing for me. So I thought that the least I could do is do something with the music. So in our garage right now, I have a whole bunch of music. And I thought to myself, um, you know, I have this uh, secret wish of kind of like you know, being a, being a rock star, but it's more like I'm just kind of sitting in the chair and imagining all this stuff. Um, my girls love to come in and make music uh, as well, so we have like a keyboard set up and they, they put on shows out there and do all this really fun, and they're, they're eight and nine. But, uh, but anyways, so, uh, so that's it. And um, uh, the other thing that I did with all this music equipment is everyone has headphones. So there's like 10 pairs of headphones in there because my wife's like, man, that sounds like a great idea, but I don't want to hear it. Everybody puts on headphones so you can hear it. So I thought, I'm going to do something about this house before I move from here. So old school, so I've got probably 20, 30 guitars that are out there, keyboard, recording equipment, all this fun stuff. And I have all these happy memories in there where I'm telling the kids, oh, let's orchestrate this. I want you to do this and this and do that. So just a really fun place. And I have these um, uh, lights that were basically, they were for our, uh, Halloween. And I use those to make it feel like it's a real, you know, like all the blue, purple light. So, totally a personal painting about this music that has gone on this crazy house. So, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, and and what, it's, it's what do you, what do you play? Well, I play, I, I used to play the drums. I played from the time I was like 12 till like in my 40s or so, and I did that. Um, I have probably two, three hundred guitars in my house. Most of them are all signed by uh, bands and different musicians. Um, the reason I have so many guitars is if a band comes to Vegas, say it's like Green Day, and uh, they want me to do something for them, we'll be like, okay, tell you what, I'll paint a guitar for you, but I want two things. I need a lifetime pass to be able to come backstage of all your shows, and the whole band needs to sign a guitar. So I have probably 20, 30 guitars that have nothing on them, but every time I've done an album cover or painted something for the band or did a poster for them, I never charge them. Instead, I got a guitar for it. So I have this amazing guitar collection. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, so big, big music fan. But um, again, these days I'm more like the director inside the, the garage. So yeah. That's very helpful. It's fun. It's fun. So, yeah. <laughs> We've had some fun in there. So, yeah. I mean, to some degree, I have a music degree. I'm a singer. You know, it's so... You're doing a very good singer. Well, I've been, I've been telling uh, my daughter's about to have a baby. And I said, listen, I said, if you want a child with a higher IQ, more so than reading, teach them music when they're young, especially like piano. Music is so complex from reading the notes, doing it at the same time. I mean, it, it, it shows you that later on in life you become, well, it's a really crazy their intelligence. Yeah, and they say now that babies can hear, I mean, you know, they're six months, six months into the womb. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it is amazing. Yeah, so lots of them have little, little, uh, little themes and stuff. In there. Yeah, and that's why too. The other, the other reason I love music too is because like the, you'll see a lot of pianos in my pieces. When we were kids, there was uh, two rules. When it's summertime, you guys play outside. You're not allowed in the house, right? Go out and uh, do that. And then um, if you did come inside, you had to play the piano. Like, you have to do something constructive. The other rule, I think, was, um, you know, you have to come in when the, when the street lights come on. So, not like that. <laughs> My, not, everything, not everything they taught me was good. I'm still still worried about a watermelon seed I swallowed 50 years ago. <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> All kinds of bad things were I'm supposed sure to happen. Yeah, yeah, but uh, but yeah, you'll see a lot of uh, music themes in there. But that's where all the piano stuff. Uh, piano stuff yes, I saw a guy earlier yeah. who looked like Jeff Bezos, but not really. Have you sold any work to Jeff Bezos? Does he own a Goddard? Not yet. Not yet, but he will. Yeah. He has. To you might even if see one on that pain. rocket. Yeah, you never know. On a rocket? Maybe. That would be dope. anyway. All right. Well, it's good to see you again. Good to see you too, brother. All right. Take care. And there they go. It's over, and my phone died, which sucks. Uh, but uh, I still have my broken phone. Um, and he also he drew on the door over here as well, which is pretty cool.
I wish I had my better phone so you could see it better. But yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, that's it. They don't need my help anymore. So I am leaving. Today is not as late as yesterday. Today, it, the show ended at 9 and it is 9.30. Yesterday, the show ended at 8 and it was 11 when we finished. So, yeah. All in all, a good weekend, a great weekend of shows. All right, it says it can't bring Joshua up, but maybe we can. Boom. What's up, buddy? It worked. What are you Dude, doing? Dude, my hand sucks, so this might not work. Oh, shoot. Almost no, dropped it. I can see it. So uh, a background on this crazy character. It's another artist, obviously. You can tell by, the, by his hair, can't we? Because all artists have great hair on Sundays. And, exactly. Uh, but Joshua is in uh, Canada, um, uh, West Edmonton area, and uh, or thereabouts. I'm not sure where the studio is at, but uh, he paints with his hands, and uh, he do. also has a YouTube channel, and uh, very fun, uh, very fun uh, person. And looking for the girls' iPads. I don't know where they're at. I I, I will look. I'll finish up here in a few. Oh my gosh! I don't want to get in trouble with my wife. I need to find those iPads, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what are you up to, man? What What's on the easel, man? What have you been working on? Can you show us? Okay. I don't know if you remember from the other day, I was telling you about that whale that I was having trouble with. Yeah, yeah, the big one. So I put it aside, but here Holy is smokes. part of it. This is more oh, so an underpainting part of it. But yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's big, though, Joshua. That, that's huge, dude. There we go. Wow. I put that to the side, and then I started working on this piece instead. And... Uh, Oh man, yeah. Oh, that's looking good. And uh, show them. Show. Uh, hold up your paint brushes in front of everybody. Let's see them. You want to show your right <laughs> hand or your left? There you go. He paints with his hands. You know what? Yeah. I'm telling you, you you've taken finger painting to a whole new level. But you know what? It's it's the Thanks. same joy. It's the same joy. I did a finger painting. I think it was about three four years ago. Man, it's so much fun to get your hands in there. And and it just get in there and do it no matter who you are. So, and you guys yeah, you got, could, uh, you got this one right. Yeah, there's my finger painting right there. There it is. And you did yeah. this little sketch for me too. Damn it! I didn't charge you enough. <laughs> <laughs> and you did this hat for me. Yeah, buddy. Right on. So, are you actually painting today? You cruising today? What are you doing? I am painting today. I'm uh I'm gonna be working on this piece. And uh, oh, there's another one. Abraham oh, nice. Lincoln. Take us My a little closer to that very one. Messy. What's that? Yeah, take us a little closer to that one. Let me let me see it kind of closer. Oh man, that is looking good. So all all with his fingers, ladies and gentlemen. I had to be super careful when I was shaking his hand at the art show because I didn't <laughs> want to damage his paintbrushes. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, awesome. That's hey, funny. Ryan Johnson just joined us, and uh, yeah, man. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. A lot of fun, man. So you're you're a busy boy today, but you're you're kind of yeah, yeah. working at your own pace, yeah. Hey, by the way, the whale painting looks great. That that thing looks enormous, dude. How big is that canvas? It's uh four feet by five feet, I think. If I'm yeah, standing in okay. front of it, you can see it's like yeah, yeah, pretty big. Wow. But uh, yeah, right on. It's out of my comfort zone, you know. I don't paint animals. I mostly paint people. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can show you another one that I've been working on. Yeah, I kind of put it to the side. This is the Amy Winehouse piece. Oh, oh nice. Oh, that looks there. great. Dude, I don't know how you, I, I don't know. I just, uh, that's, it's, it, man, it just amazes me that, I guess, you know, that because I work so flat, uh, I don't have that much texture to my painting. Like, you know, you can't see the paintbrush strokes. It, I, one of the things I love about your paintings is that when I look at them, I can kind of see, like, you know, I can see the movements of your hands and, you know, it, no matter what colors you get, you can kind of follow, uh, you know, how you kind of went about doing it. But it's just crazy that you do it with your fingers. Like, like you've got some serious issues, man. And I like it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, man. I appreciate well, that. Hey, thanks for saying hi. I got a couple other people that are going to come up, man. You enjoy your Sunday, brother. And All always right, man. great to see you. Thank you. All, All right. right. Bye. Yeah. 
so at, how cool is that, man? He's a he's a really really fun guy and a great painter. He's got his own YouTube channel, which I love, and I love I love seeing up and coming artists. Actually, he's a little beyond just up and coming because he's actually showing in the galleries and doing his thing. But you know, uh, no matter where you're at with your career, you're always trying to figure out how you can level up. Uh, all right, let's see who who else might want to come on camera. All right.